The surgery was a mistake. Hey, it's Scotty. I recently got a message from somebody who said they had a pair of boy guinea pigs and they were fighting and they thought or they heard that getting them neutered would help the aggression and they went ahead and did it and guess what? It had no effect on their aggression and they were out many hundreds of dollars and there was this long recovery time. Now, thankfully, those boys healed completely, but you'd be surprised how often I hear about this, about people either asking me if they should get their boys neutered or saying that they already had and I want to clear it up right now. I've made videos about this in the past, but every time I hear it, and when I hear that somebody actually went through with a surgery that was completely unnecessary and also didn't achieve the goal that they wanted, it makes me crazy. And I don't need any help being crazy. So <laughs> the one side benefit is now that those boys, since they're not getting along, they can each be paired up with a single or a group of girls. So that is an option. But me personally, I, I don't know that I would be comfortable having my boys neutered when I am very lucky and very uh, in, in a good position to be able to continue to try to find uh, a match for my single boys. And in this kind of setup where they can always have uh, supervised play dates, they can live next to each other. Some piggies do just prefer their own space. And if you tried and tried and tried and failed, then maybe they do need to just be side by side other piggies. But I will say also that I had piggies like Gary, who for years could not find a friend and he just needed the right friend. And after many years of trying with every foster that came in here and literally three playdate sessions of five piggies each, maybe more than that, he could not find a friend. He finally found a friend and a cage mate in Gizmo and they have been living extremely harmoniously. So uh, I'm, I'm grateful for that. So would I get my piggies neutered? I don't know. I just, I, my heart couldn't take it if something happened. There's two risks uh, as I see it for neutered surgery. That is number one, that they may not wake up from the surgery. And number two, that there might be complications in the healing process that cause an infection that causes them to get sick uh, from an infection. And in some cases they die and that would destroy me. And also, let's talk about this. The fact is, what am I thinking? The reason why I can't neuter my boys is because the only reason to neuter your boys is to have a girl with them. And I can't have girls in this room because even if I had a single boy that couldn't get along with any boys and I, gave, I got him neutered and put a girl with him, then there'd be a girl in here and all the other boys would go crazy. And these boys, they don't need any excuse to go crazy. They're already crazy enough too. We're all crazy in this little bachelor pad. I have a pair of girls that are in the other room. That's Molly and Allie. And they're in the other room for a reason. Because these boys, they know what's going on. And they can't have those girls in this room. So even if I thought it would be wor worth it even if I thought that I could take the chance. I wouldn't want to take the chance because there, where I couldn't put a girl in here anyways. So I just want to put that out there that neutering a pair of boys, the only reason to neuter a boy is so that he could have a girlfriend instead of being paired up with another boy if he has trouble getting along with other boys. So if you're in a situation where you can have uh, a herd of girls and a boy, then you can do it. And obviously, or not obviously, but generally speaking, two neutered boys do not get along in a herd full of girls for the same reasons that I was talking about before. 
generally we want one neutered male in a group of females and that's just the way it is if you want to have multiple neutered boys and multiple groups of girls you can do that but generally one neutered male per herd in the case of the person who reached out to me and said i neutered my boys they're still fighting well they can each have their own single or group of girls and that will be great as long as they have enough space for that so <sighs> Unnecessary, pointless surgery that is a complete mistake is, uh, it, 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 it makes me upset, but I'm glad that they all, they healed and I just thought I'd make a video to warn people against that because, you know, there's no reason to do that. But everything that I am talking about is except for this case study, is a, is a generalization. Let me know if you had two neutered boys living together. Uh, there are always exceptions to the rules, and as uh, somebody who uh, teaches, as somebody who shares what I've learned, you know, I want to keep learning. If I don't keep learning, then at a certain point, I will run out of things to share. So I've always got to keep an open mind. Plus, that's just the way to live. You should always live with an open mind. You should always challenge your assumptions. And you should always be willing to learn and to grow and to be able to change your mind or uh, revise your thinking. So I hope you'll find value in videos like this and in all of my uh, videos because I know personally, I want to know if what I'm doing is right, if things are changing, if we're considering things differently, I want to know. So I hope that you found this interesting, or maybe it saved you a couple hundred dollars um, in unnecessary surgery. If that's the case, if I just saved you three, four, five, six hundred dollars in unnecessary neutering surgery, you can send me a message through the contact page of my website and I will let you know where you can send that check. <laughs> or you could buy a t-shirt like this just to say thank you that you appreciate um, my work. And, uh, you know, actually, all jokes aside, I do get many, many emails from people who say that or, or people who join my Patreon because they say, wow, you know, over the years, all of your advice, all of the stuff on the care guide has saved me so much money, so much time, so much heartache and headache that they wanted to support the work that I do. And of course, what I uh, am sharing is stuff that I've learned volunteering at the Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue, working with We Companions, the Southern California Guinea Pig Rescue, working with the uh, Pasadena Exotic Animal Vet Center and Chaparral Pet Hospital and a number of these um, vet uh, vets and uh, rescuers and all of my rescue colleagues over the years. I always want to be learning from them and sharing what I've learned. It's it's just uh, I feel very uh, privileged and 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 grateful to be able to do it and I find it fascinating because. These piggies are so cute and so um, lovable. Of course, we want to learn as much as we can to give them the best life and to uh, give them the happiest life. So I hope you feel the same. If uh, you're new to the channel and you feel the same and you haven't subscribed, do that. Hit the like button. Maybe somebody will avoid this mistake and... Uh, they won't uh, get themselves into uh, unnecessary surgery and unnecessary trouble and heartache. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.